What is going on beautiful people? I hope you guys are all having an amazing day out there, man. It is a beautiful life. It has been a couple minutes since I have posted a video like this on YouTube, just like connecting with you guys. And rest assured, this is going to be the year of YouTube. I am on a mission and I am going to achieve 5,000 subs this year on YouTube. Not that that matters, but I really want to invest my efforts and energy into longer format content. I have a... I enjoy creating it more, I enjoy watching it more, and the reason why I want to do this is so I can have like a library of things that I've done and like documented my life that I can watch and that I can enjoy because life is really, really good right now. I'm in a really good place, I'm very happy, I'm very grateful, and I'm just excited to be alive, man. Like, I feel like I'm in the driver's seat of my own life and just really good things are happening, you know, over this last year, really, uh, last couple of years, really, really good things have been happening and I just kind of want to share that with y'all and share it with my future self. So Jared, if you're watching this in the future, we're in a really good place right now and you better not have fucked it up. So, <laughs> with that being said, but it wasn't always this way, you guys, like, there's been a lot of, like, ups and downs along this journey, and, like, if you guys remember back to when I was shooting those videos in Iron City, back at the gym, like, bodybuilding versus powerlifting and those videos and stuff, I was at, like, pretty much rock bottom at that stage of my life. I had moved back to Canada for a little bit to try and get my finances in order and to try and regroup and reassess what I was doing. And I was living with my mom, my stepdad, my grandma, my grandpa, and it was in the house that I grew up in, and it fucking sucked, man. I was reminded daily of the things I was not doing, and it was just really tough. But the reason why is because five years prior to that, I moved down to Mexico to build my own business, to live on the beach, to live life by my own design. I was sick and tired of the rules. I don't agree with the way that society just puts us into these boxes and tells us how we need to live our lives. I think we're capable of doing amazing things and living an amazing life, whatever that may mean to us. And where I was at could not give me that. So I was like, enough is enough. I moved down to Mexico and it was a, literally like so many ups and downs, man. And for anybody who's built a business or is an entrepreneur, I know you can relate to that. It was a hard road. It was really challenging, but it was a beautiful one as well, man. And I'm very grateful for everything that happened because it brought me up to this spot. I learned how to do sales. I learned how to do marketing, learned how to speak in front of a camera. Like when I first started this thing, I would look at my camera and be absolutely terrified, petrified, would not do anything. So just the fact that I'm sitting here shooting this video, sharing it, says a lot about how far we've came. But I lived down here, did a lot of amazing things, roller coaster five years, and then I got back home to Canada and I was just like stuck, man. I couldn't figure it out. My finances were jacked. It was really, really hard. And my mom gave me a camera and she's like, yo, you can, she's like, borrow this if you want. Actually, I was like, give me that fucking camera. I want to go shoot some videos at the gym and make some YouTube stuff. And my whole family was on me. They're like, what are you going to shoot these videos? Like, blah, blah, blah. And just giving me a really hard time. And the one thing that kept me sane was the belief in what I was doing, man. That was never, no matter how shitty things got, the belief never changed. There was, it was always really strong. I always had faith in what I was doing. And whether I was experiencing some difficulty in the moment, I knew it wouldn't last. I knew it was just something that was going to pass and that I would get over and become better because of it. So got this camera, I started shooting these videos with you guys, started introducing myself into YouTube with the fitness and stuff and the gym has been my love. It has been the thing that has got me through so much of my life and um, like helped me stay out of trouble tremendously and I'm very grateful for that. And um, But what brought me to this video before I take a detour and go down some road of this rabbit hole, um, when I was in that really rough space, man, I would sit down every single morning and I would write in my journal about the moment that I'm currently living right now. I would visualize myself living in Mexico, financially stable, financially abundant, happy with a beautiful girl in my life, in a condo with a view, and I literally just like created this moment inside of my head and I would write about how grateful I was for it every single morning in my journal. No matter what I was experiencing out here, did not matter. I would just continually focus on the beautiful things that were coming my way, man. And here we are, today I had like a moment of just like holy shit, like, we made it, you know, and I feel like we made it already and it's beautiful because like there's so much beautiful things coming and so much beautiful things happening right now and um, I just want to share with you guys or even my future self that when like 
we're experiencing everything externally about how we currently are inside. Like we have the capable capabilities of creating whatever it is we want in life and we can literally change our situation at any given time. But if we're comfortable and we're a product of our habits and those habits suck, then we're going to experience discomfort. Because inside of myself, I knew that there was something that was dying to come out. I know there's something out there bigger for me. I know that I have a higher purpose that I need to fulfill. And I was not experiencing that up until the point that I decided to make the change. I made the change and I feel fucking amazing. And it's really cool because this next chapter of my life with you guys that I'm gonna be bringing you guys on that we're gonna do together is gonna be really amazing, man. Like. The last video that I posted from Iron City, or actually from Red Deer, the last video that I posted was about um, going to the gym and stuff like that. And like, here we are now, two years is fast forward. I have, I got my puppy over there, Rico. Rico! He's gonna come over here and say hello. I have my beautiful girlfriend, Erica, and we've been doing some really cool adventures. So what's gonna happen now is I'm gonna start sharing these adventures with you guys every single week. My commitment to you guys right now is one episode a week. I'm gonna do one episode a week. I'm gonna bring you guys on this journey of life with me. My morning routines, my mindset practices, my gym workouts, all of these things, the travel, the tacos, the fucking adventures that we go on in the desert, like all of this cool stuff, I'm gonna bring you guys with me. And I just want, I guess my intention with this whole thing is to share with you guys that when you believe in what you're doing, you will achieve it. You are capable of doing amazing things. And my fascination with everything is the mindset aspect of all of this, our thoughts, our energy. And I had this experience, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna share this with you guys really quick. I had this experience, man, where um, the person that meant the most to me ended up passing away in a car accident and that's what kind of changed the trajectory of my life. It was like my brother, Dan, ended up passing away in a car accident and what's so crazy man is the night that he passed away I was laying in my bed and I was like sleeping but I wasn't quite sleeping and then all of a sudden I was having an out of body experience where I was sitting on the floor of this hotel room I could look around and I could see my body sleeping in the bed I could see the other guy that was in the hotel room like I was completely fucking conscious but I was out of my body and I, he would Dan was sitting right in front of me and he was looking at me and I'll never forget the way that he looked hair slicked back he was wearing this hoodie with the stripes on it and we were both sitting there with our legs crossed which I never sit like this which is weird and we were looking at each other and I was like how could you leave me like this and he's like it wasn't planned it just happened and I was like well are you gonna keep coming and visiting me like this and he's like yes I'll always be here with you and then he started putting these beads onto my wrist that were very sentimental between us and then I woke up and I was like <gasps> and just like lost all control started fucking bawling my eyes out crying like crazy lost all like all control Crying. And the point of the reason why I brought that up to you is because it sparked something in me. He left me with the biggest gift and he showed me that this, what we're experiencing in this reality isn't everything. There's more happening than we can possibly understand. And it led me on this journey to discover what is really going on around here. Like what is this whole ride of life about? What, who are we? What are we? What is going on? And um, so I ended up moving to Mexico about eight months after that happened. I was like, you know what? There's more to life, man. Uh, this isn't me. I need to find out what drives me, what I wanna do, not what I'm told what to do. And then I literally got rid of all of my stuff, which I'll get into in another video, but I got rid of all of my stuff and I moved down here. And then like this whole like five years happened of entrepreneurialism and going like this. But what really grabbed me was this spirituality thing that experience that I had with Dan never left me it never will leave me and like um, I was fascinated by it so I hooked up with these shamans and I started doing this plant medicine ayahuasca and I started like leaving my body and going into these other places and like my body would go to sleep and my spirit or whatever you want to call it would leave and I would go to these places and it provided me with so much clarity and so much understanding and like I've had the ability and the opportunity to connect with what I feel like is a higher source of intelligence, of infinite intelligence, and like explain kind of like sh break everything down. And what I took from that was that we are the creators of our own experience. We can do whatever we wanna do. We are very, very powerful beyond our own comprehension and we need to tap into that. So I've been really fascinated with mindset, with focusing your attention on what it is you want, where it is you're looking to go, and it's paid off fucking tremendously for me in my life 
It's allowed me to be here right now, sitting here with you guys, not freezing my ass off in the oil field where I used to work in Alberta, living by someone else's rules. So it's paid off tremendously and what I want to do and what my intention is and what I am going to do is share that with all of you guys. Share with you how to make quantum leaps in life just by getting clear on what it is you want to do and taking, most importantly, the necessary action to bring that to life for yourself. Because once again, man, we're capable of doing amazing things. But we need a strategy. We need a plan in place in order to make that happen. So that's what I'm going to provide to you guys. I'm going to share with you guys my daily routines, all of this stuff, like the gym workouts, all of the fun stuff. So whatever you guys want to see, man, don't be a stranger. Do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button. Drop a comment. Let me know what you want to see, and I will create it for you. I'll share with you guys everything I know, man. Everything I know, you know I'm going to share with you for free, 100%. I am going to offer you guys the ability to join some of the kick-ass challenges that we have to work with myself directly, but at no means will I be selling you guys anything. Not what this is about. If you have the opportunity to work with me, Run with it, take it, but by no means is it going to be on the table all of the time and by no means is it going to be rammed down your throat because that shit drives me fucking nuts. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to wrap up this video. Your time is valuable. I understand that and I'm not, I don't want this to be like a 70 minute long video, but I do just want to leave you guys with this man. We are capable of doing amazing things. We need to jump into the driver's seat of our own life. I know that times are uncertain right now. I know there's a lot of shit going on and that just feels like we're powerless. We're helpless. We can't do shit. The government is breathing down our throats with this mask things, these blah, blah, blah things. It's a, it's a disaster, but I want to remind you how capable you are and how amazing you truly are. We don't need the fucking government to tell us how to live our lives. We can d determine how our lives are going to be. And sometimes that takes a massive, what is required is a massive step out of your comfort zone and belief in what you are doing. So maybe if I could shed a little bit of love and a little bit of hope into your days, then that's gonna be considered a job well done for me. So let's get it, man. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for being a part of the journey. One video a week, man, that's my commitment. I'm gonna let you hold me accountable. So go and have yourself a beautiful day. I will see you on the next video. Oh yeah, and don't forget to subscribe.